everybody, I'm Lindsay and this is Perfectly Bookish and today I'm going to be talking about some lower key spooky reads for the spooky season. talk about Serena Valentino's villain series. This is the eighth, ninth book in the series. It goes through all the Disney villains and these are the covers that I love where it has just kind of a regular version of the villain on one side and when they go crazy on the other side. I just love these covers and these books go through, there's Maleficent, the Evil Queen, the Beast, Mother Gothel, Ursula, my, my Lady Tremaine is <laughs> I couldn't think of a Lady Tremaine and then there's these odd sisters which you don't see within Disney but they are seen throughout the whole series and I just think if you're in a villainy mood with it being the spooky season that these books would be really fun to read. I love Disney and I love a good villain so this is why I love this series a lot and I definitely would recommend it. Another really low-key thing to read for Spooky Season but still has to do with villains is Villains, the evilest of them all. I'm not sure if this is just Disney or Studio International, it says, but within the whole book it goes through the different villains and gives little bios about them. And I think this is just really fun and cute because, again, very low-key, but it's talking about villains. And if you love Disney, you love villains. This is just a fun book to have and like a good pre-start to get you into the spooky season. A nice classic book to have is Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel. So this follows Hocus Pocus years after it already happened and you get new characters but you still get some of the old ones as well. And this is just a fun read, especially if you like Hocus Pocus. It's more for the nostalgia of it all. I do like the original Care For It much better, but it was just really fun to read this because like I said, it was the nostalgia of it all and Hocus Pocus is so iconic that it was fun to dive back into this world and this setting. So again, another lower key, villainy, fun, spooky read for the spooky season. Then we get a little darker with this next book. It is Poison by Sarah Pimborough and I also have Charm and Beauty on my shelves. They kind of go together with the series and these covers are just so beautiful. These have like Disney classics with a spin but it is much darker and I love how this fairy tale isn't the typical ending, it's a darker ending. So what you think you know about the fairy tales, things get twisted around and of course bad things happen because this is a spooky evil read, not your princess gets the crown and now rules over the kingdom, saves the kingdom. It's not that kind of read. So if you like fairy tales but you also like darker reads or darker happenings, then this is a series for you. Like I said, this one is Poison, then there's Charm and Beauty. Then lastly, I'm just going to share this Grimm anthology. There's lots of different authors who have written in here. I haven't read them all, but I've read a good chunk of them. And there are some darker stories in here. I haven't read it for many, many years. There's definitely a lot of the stories that I enjoyed while reading it. And some of them can get quite twisted and different. So this goes a little more from the like friendly kind of spooky reads that I started out with and it gets a little more intense as you keep reading. So definitely this is a fun book because it's a lot of short stories compiled into one so you have a lot more spooky reads. I just wanted to share some of the more low-key to gets a little medium-ish spooky reads I have on my shelves. I do enjoy a good spooky read every now and then. I just don't really own that many to actually show you and share with you guys. These ones are just super fun and help get you in the mood if you just want to break from your super scary, gory, spooky books and you want to stick with the spooky theme, but you want it to be a little lighter before you start your 
next huge spooky book. Let me know down below what are some books that you like to read for spooky season. Are there books that you read every spooky season or do you like to change it up and introduce new books to your library for the spooky season? That's all from me guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye!